Tournament. No, this is both. I would, this is both. This is, I, I worry. Is that a costume head now? 2011, I'll stop the head box. I expect it to be like 10 or 20. Take 30 bucks, enter. Oh, no, that's, that's, what, that's what somebody else told me. I don't know. My, I mean, that just be tied. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, $30 to just, ah. just lose epically. I can't pay Like I said, I'm just going to wait till, like, you know, go play, wait till, like, everyone's, like, leaves. People aren't staying the night. You know, we'll go down to, like, at 1 o'clock in the morning and there's no one else down there and go, well, there's a lot less people and go just go play games for free. Because like the regular arcade games and stuff, you don't if it's not a part of a tournament, they're free to play. Unlimited play, so it's I know it's some you mentioned the that you wanted to go to or like me to go to at the convention. Yeah. You wanna like share. Yeah, go ahead. I really wanna go to the zombie survival panel. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Will they help us? Um, what's that? I'm not sure. I can look it up. Zombie survival. Zombie survival panel. Oh, is it all the new? I'm going. So whatever. Zombie survival panel. What is that about? Zombie survival. It's just. I think it's just like. Uh, I think it's just kind of like theory and stuff. You know. About what, you, what would you do if this happens? You know. It's kind of. I'm sure they. Um, I'm sure they have people that wrote books. You know. For. Uh, I have a few books on zombie survival and stuff at home. So they might have someone like come and do something like that. I think Team Four Star is doing a panel. They do the Dragon Ball Bridge series. Yeah, they do a lot. They do a, they do a few bridge series. They're really funny. Well, like one of them did the Hawkeye show. The other two, I think, did Naruto, and they worked together in the Dragon Um, Vic, I forget his last name, but the voice actor that does Ed in Full Metal Alchemist has his own little panel thing. A lot of the, a lot of the voice actors have like their own. Uh, yeah. They, well, they have like you know like autographs and stuff. Like autographs and stuff. Like I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more than what's on the list. Just yeah. in terms of, like they they have a lot of photo shoots on here. But there's there's way more photos. There's gonna be way more. There's on, on, like, on the photo shoot on the website it lists like it lists like thirty different photo shoots for like every like, anime like Pokemon Naruto like like everything like there's a photo shoot for it. No, there's definitely more than that going. Brad something out of thing. Because, I mean, I've, I've heard of it games and stuff like I mean, that. Like, I hear this guy all the time. I need to find out who he is. That does, so that, that does a lot of voice acting. I mean, like, if you've played a game, you've probably heard Brad this guy's Swally. voice. Yeah, he was white in Death Note. Uh, he was in Black Lagoon. He was in, uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe it wasn't him. There's another guy over here who did like, a ton of voice. I'm talking about he does, like, like I, I remember one. I, saw, I heard him. The guy who does in English, Yuri Lowenthal. Is there, in, I know like, for certain he played. He was a voice actor in this yeah. game called Valkyria Chronicles. And I remember hearing him because he, like, played almost everybody in that game. You heard his voice. I mean, if you've ever seen, like, the Venture Brothers, he's, like, that guy who wrote the Venture Brothers. He plays, like, every voice I've ever heard, ever. The Lemon Demon, the ultimate showdown. They're going to be there. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Ultimate, I like that. The ultimate destiny. Yeah, I can download it from Tony. Yeah, it's funny. My, my, I, I have, yeah. I'm probably just going to follow a lot of people around because this is like my second year. My first year, I just I just took a bunch of pictures with people cosplaying. I never went to actually any of the panels. And then I found out that the voice actors were upstairs, and I went upstairs and they had already left. On, well, I guess it, was, I guess it doesn't in, in matter to you guys because you're not staying anyways. You're like, there's a rave on Saturday from 10, a, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. 10 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, I mean, like, are you? Probably be around. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought you were. Are you, sta are you, yeah. are you staying? Are you like, Get your fish next oh, Just go to the rest. On Saturday, yeah. I think it's. I think it's. How starts long does it stay open? Like, all, it's all night. I might just stay. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm like, I'm thinking like the panels and the panels and stuff like end obviously, but like the game, like the it's game, open, but like uh, you have like the whole floor and stuff to yourself because like the game room and stuff are open all hours. So like, I think there's probably, I think it, there's gonna be people like hanging out like in all, like at all hours. Like, yeah, I might like, just stay. I might like a, like after like just go change into like regular clothes and go down and play games and stuff because like I'm probably gonna be sick of sitting in, like in a costume for that long. Bring your shorts, bring your shorts, bring your fishnet shirt. And bring <laughs> some glow sticks. We go into this rain. Yeah, but I think they, have, I mean, they, I think they like hand out like glow sticks and stuff. But, have you ever uh, seen white chicks? I'd be like that guy from White Chicks with the whistle. <laughs> 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 
But um, there's also the AMD room, and the AMD room is like open all the time. You, you might not want to go there after hours though, because like one of the guys that's in Anime Club, um, AMD Hell. Yeah, he runs. He runs that, or he's the head of that kind of department. Oh yeah. For for Yomacon. so I mean, like I think maybe like at twelve, they like have an air out. They do a lot of hentai, so. And then, yeah, lots of hentai, like the AMV Hell Zero, whatever. Like, yeah. yeah, it's gross. I've seen it. Don't watch it. But, I mean, it really is. <laughs> it is kind of cool to see the AMVs that people put together, because it's not like they put together a whole bunch of AMVs, like people are submitting them. Um, I've seen some of his. They're pretty cool. So, And uh, there's an award like ceremony, and he was talking about some of the ones he was really excited about. They have, they have like cosplay contests for like homemade cosplayers and like things that I don't know if we're up on the board, but I really want to do um they have live action cosplay shogi. They have live action shogi, they have I know they have live action Mario Party. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's um, Oh is that I don't know, I just they just showed me some of them. I just know you have to be cosplaying to participate in those. Those are gonna be good. I'm gonna be in like I'm gonna try to get in the live action Mario Party system.